back to Dr. Noah's YouTube update in oxidative stress and we're going to talk about cataracts. common type of problem that we see, especially as you get old, is that the outer lens of your eye becomes kind of fuzzy, becomes frost-like because of the protein that is broken down over the years because of ultraviolet and other type of factors which we'll talk about here. In fact, a nice little chart here, Let's see if I can find it, uh, which kind of explains, it goes more than just ultraviolet, yeah, here it is, what causes cataracts. As you can kind of read there, we have oxidation, which we're going to talk about. We've got ultraviolet trauma, aging, nutrition, which we'll talk more about, which is never talked about, diabetes, and systemic diseases uh, that can cause that, and drugs, which is never talked about. So that's something that, you know, we definitely have, and there is, there's a procedure. It's a, it's a surgical procedure, and as surgeries go, actually, it's one of the better ones that go along, but you don't even have to have that. And what we'll be talking about in the near future is that uh, Cindy myself and John are going to put together a, a website, kind of do-it-yourself type of things. And so cataracts would be one of those things that maybe you don't have five to ten thousand dollars to do cataract surgery because you're not in some type of government program or you don't have insurance like that. There are some drops I'll show you here from Germany that's been shown and I've had just two patients within the last month their cataracts went away. We'll talk about oxidative stress being a factor and so taking a nerve 2 or oxidative stress reducer like protanum would definitely you know, help both prevent and also help uh, once again prevent that from going on. So going through the scientific literature uh, you know, in terms of you know, what's going on out there. So in this uh, article here in iResearch um, from the University of Maryland, it states that uh, the implication of oxidative stress has been examined in the genesis of cataracts. Which can very well established. This isn't some stretching kind of thinking, well, gee, Dr. Noah, you're just trying to get people to reduce their oxygen stress. Yeah, well, I do because it's involved with over 200 diseases. So, yeah, who wouldn't want to have reduced that? Another article here, Journal of Endocrinology and Metabolism 2000, peer review scientific article here, is biochemical evidence suggests that oxidative damage of the lens uh, protein is involved in the genesis, beginning of cataracts, and the degeneration of, of, of the eye. Decreased activities point to, uh, to uh, the decrease in antioxidant capacity in diabetic uh, cataracts uh, implicates that uh, is a future type of treatment choice. So that's kind of nice. And one last one. Uh, this was published in uh, Experimental Eye Research 2004 and they state conclusively because oxidative stress is thought to be a major factor in cataract formation so in both diabetic and non-diabetic aging uh, humans and so oxidative stress is a factor so with a revolutionary compound like protanin that's within 30 days able to reduce your oxidative stress to a baby uh, yeah that's pretty powerful and as we've talked about some of the other health benefits this is the other type of drops. They come from Germany. They're great. You put one, one or two drops in your eyes and they actually help to once again reverse the process so it can actually get clarity. One of the terrible side effects is that your actually your eyesight gets better and I've actually had patients had to go off depending on their uh, prescription, either get off their, um, their, their glasses or be able to reduce their strength of their glasses because it actually strengthens your eyes unlike other types of uh, things out there that makes your eyes weaker. So. So cataracts and oxidative stress, it's a must. Thanks.